so some Zach Ryan today. Um, this one's got to be my favorite song off the album. The whole album is killer, but I don't know. I just really like this one. Um, and just want to apologize again, too. I know I haven't put out a lot of videos lately. Um, life has been crazy. So anyway, getting into this one it is going to be a lot of G to C. So if you're not real good at G to C, this will make you good at it. But getting into this, um, you're going to be in 3-2, open, open, 3-3, three, three, G. And you're going to play the first G for two counts. And then after that, when we're switching back and forth, you're just going to play one count each. So real slow it's going to be. Switch to your C. Back to your G. C. G. And that's going to get us into the E run, which I'll talk about a little bit. So regular speed on just the G's to C's. Alright, so into this E minor is going to be the next part, and it's going to be open, 2-2, two, two, open, open, open. And there are two ways to play this. It's kind of personal preference and kind of, you know, how you're playing. If you're playing the band like the album, then I would recommend the uh, F sharp over D. But starting the E, it's going to be, and the heavy part you want to hear is the open E, that F sharp, to the G. Less about the high end, you just want to hear that. It's real reoccurring, it's real kind of keeps you keeps you local. But the other option to playing just that walk up is to play the F sharp over D, which is gonna be putting your thumb up here on the second fret, low E, over a regular D shape, into the G. But if you're not real comfortable with that, if you haven't played a lot, if you haven't practiced a lot, if you like the song, then you can go with the walk up. Just. So, I'll play that one more time, and again, that bar right there, that one line is going to get us through 90% of the song. So, one more time. And all I added there, which you can as well as do it in the song, is the first strum on every C and G. On the G, you're going to hammer on that second fret index finger. C, you're hammering on that middle finger again. So. Alright, and so that's going to get us all the way into the back of some Morocco in a town you've ever been. That's the same thing as well. The only thing is kind of that, you know, the, the drop, if you will, where he's going into the... Uh, going into the chorus. And again, that's that little, if you want to add the mutes, either mute with this hand or mute with this hand. And then there's one count of rest. And then this will be the chorus. And so we're going to be starting in a C. And there's see, I hope I described it. I, did, I apologize if I didn't explain the C earlier. It's going to be muted, three, two, open, one, open. We're starting in our C. Two aggressive down thrums, which are going to be, you know, stand up the most. Of it. Up into our G. And then this part's going to be quick. We're going to be going from, if you don't want to do the thumb, just a D. But really, he's playing it with the F sharp on top. But And we're going to be going from that F sharp over D, G to a C relatively quickly. So together, it's only. So it's really just the U-turn point. Uh, so again, it's right on beat. If you know the song pretty well, it's right with the words. Just the so it's it's right on it. And that's that is the whole repeating line, and you're gonna play that four times. And so you're just gonna rock through, and that'll get you to the end of the chorus, which is Once you're coming out, of course, is going to end on that C, and then it's going to take you right back into your and that's going to be it. Good luck with.